Welcome back, Dr. Larry Carnes. We have a very exciting and special guest with us. Anthony, how are you today, sir? I'm, I'm doing fine, sir. How are you? I'm doing well, doing well. Thank you for asking. You're Do this welcome. for me. Introduce yourself to our viewing audience. Tell them a little bit about who Anthony is. Yes, sir. No problem. Okay, so my name is Anthony B. Smelly. I am a writer. I have been writing since the age of 16-ish, give or take. Um, I have very a lot of uh, stories written, some that are not uh, completely published yet or completed. Um, I am a person that like to engage people in my writing. So when I write, I try to draw you in. It doesn't matter if you like other stories, I like to draw you in. So that's the kind of stories that I like to write. Okay, so writing stories that captivate or try to draw the audience in. Are you speaking Correct. fictional or, or, or what type of, of books and stories do you, do you really draw the audience in with? Well, right now, um, I have um, three genres that I'm working with, sci-fi, fantasy, and a children's story. So when I write the stories, the children's story is when, um, when you read it, it, it's an educational type story with a lot of magic and animals and something that will let the child use their imagination. Okay. The sci-fi and the fantasy is more uh, somewhat like the same, but I try to um, cut things off so that it'll draw you to the next book, if you understand oh, what I'm saying. Okay. A continuation. You, you have exactly, those connectors, exactly. if you will, a continuation. Exactly, yes. yes okay. Yes. I'm looking here, Prophecy of a Planet. Yes, sir. Speak to me about that prophecy of a planet. You say, I grant you, as I was looking at the book, it says something here, it caught my attention. I grant you all the powers of the users along with the strength and ability of the warriors to rule this entire domain. Talk to us about this. Whoa, okay. So prophecy of a planet, the story revolves around one Adean, which, um, before I even go there, let me explain something to you. First of all, I grew up reading comic books, um, Dungeons and Dragons, and um, all kind of fantasy books. So I really got interested in Dungeons and Dragons and elves, doors, and, and et cetera, et cetera. So what I started to write the story, and a friend of mine said that it's already been done. Why don't you do a little twist on it? So I did. And the twist is Prophecy of a Planet. Now, Prophecy of a Planet revolves around one Adean who made a pact with the Dark One, the devil, to gain the power and the ability to, it's, and it's really crazy, he fell in love with one of the females. And because she's not in love with him, she's in love with someone else, he made the pact in order to gain her to fall back in love with him. But when he did this, he did this with um, what is called, we call it a curse, they call it an utterance. And the utterance is what made the, um, the clan started to battle each other. And instead of the clans battling each other, the utterance was so strong that it battled the class within the clan, the clans. Okay, now you're gonna have to unpack that. <laughs> yeah, okay. so, so so unpack that for us because there, there, there seems to be this this house that's divided against itself going on here. So unpack yes. that and give us some insights into that. Okay, all right. Matoka, he is with Clan Adian. There are a total of eight clans on this planet. The planet is not planet Earth. It's another planet from another galaxy. So right. there are a total of eight clans. And each clan has their own abilities. Now, the um, I use magic on the planet, but they do not call it magic. They call it the power of the dunamis. Now, Matoka is a user. Only users 
have the ability to, well, no, sorry. Um, a user is those that use the dunamis power. Now, remember, everybody on the planet has the ability to use it, but not everybody uses it. The ones that use it are called users of the dunamis. We got that part? Okay. Okay. Everybody now, has the ability to use this power, correct. but everyone doesn't use the power. Correct. Now, 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 see, when you say that, I'm going to have to get beneath the surface. Why are those... Why do some use the power, but then others don't use the power when they have the ability to use it? Okay, now, remember I said that there are a total of eight clans. Yes. The, this first book introduces four of the eight clans. Adeans, uh -huh. So you're setting us up for the next <laughs> book. <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. So there are the four clans that you're introduced to in this book is the Adeans, Valoians, Decams and the Arcarians. Okay? All right. All right. The classes that the clans are into are different. Um, Adeans are in layers, which are assassins, and users, which are magic users, and warriors and hunters. Okay? Arcarians are strictly warriors. They are the ultimate warriors. If you think of Star Trek, yeah, the Klingons in Star Trek, yes, imagine them. Ex I mean, up to the height, that would be an an Arcarian. Okay, Valoians. Valoians are hunters and users. And they are a little bit more detailed, so I'm just going to leave it like that for now. <laughs> then you have the decams. <laughs> the decams. Decams are hunters. Are sorry. Decams are warriors and users, but they mostly consider themselves a warrior than a user than part of the user um, clan, because decams use their ability to control the earth to move the world, uh, world rocks, dirt, and they make tunnels. They live with inside the Jatigo, which is the, the, the largest mountain on this planet. Okay, so when you say users, and mm -hmm. then I'm hearing how you're connecting it, warriors and users. Correct. So are users people who want to be more in control? No, everybody works together. The, the story starts out where all the clans used to work together as one. They used to protect each other, hunt for each other, and do for each other. Okay. Because Matoka wanted this one female for himself, he create, he made a pact with the Dark One. The Dark One gave him the ability of all the users and all the hunters, which made him very, very powerful. Ah. Now, he he didn't realize, like, um, the prophecy that you just read, there's a curse to it. What you read was the first part, the first part of the prophecy, but yeah. the rest of it is your life force will not rest until the taken of this world, then all will be mine. The all that will be mine will be the dark one coming over to enslave everybody on the planet. Yeah, yeah. So the story is... Matoka tries to take over the dark, the, the entire planet. He caused this utterance, and the utterance, the utterance made clan against clan. So this way he can infiltrate and do what he wants, wants to do. Instead of it being clan against clan, the dunamis power that he used was so strong because remember, he is a user, but he's never used this much power before because he's granted all the powers of the users. So he underestimated the ability of the power that he grant that he used. And instead of it being clan against clan, it went down to class against class. Oh, okay. Now class against class. Correct. Ceases to be a clan against clan thing, class against class. What, is, what is that class against class? Okay. Bring, bring you back to the Valoians. The Valoians have two classes, the hunters and the users. Okay. okay. 
Now, when it was clan, when it was um, clan against clan, the Beloians will f battle the Ardeans, Arcarians, and the Decams, and vice versa. Yeah. Now, with it being class against class, Valoian and Valoian are battling each other. Okay. What makes it so difficult is if you are married to a Valoian user and you are a Valoian hunter, now, no matter how much you are in love, the Dunamis overtook that and made you and your wife battle each other to the death. So you're on opposites? You're in the... Oh, so you're kind of sleeping with the enemy. Basically, yes. Wow. That but the is... thing is... The th the thing is, they're sleeping with the enemy, but don't even realize that you're actually enemies until the Dunamis hits and takes control. Wow. Yes. That's that 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 that's interesting. Fascinating. Fascinating. Thank you. Thank A lot you. Of, I mean, there, there, there are so many moving parts here and so many different things taking place. Yes, sir. We, do lot. this for me. Yes, sir. Take about 60 seconds. Yes, sir. Tell our viewing audience if there's any contact information. I see your mic. Uh, you just, yeah, Repeat there you again, go. Sir. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, and you go. tell our, our viewing audience how they can get in touch with you, if there's a website, email, and how they can get the book. Take about uh, about 50 seconds to do that. Okay, all right. The books are located on Amazon.com, all of them. And if you type in Anthony B. period Smelly, S-M-E-L-L-I-E, on the internet, you will be able to see my books pop up. Now you have to put Anthony B. If you don't put the B, somebody else will pop up. Yeah. I'm also, my website is um and um dire D I Y H A family stories.com. One word. Okay. And from there you would be able to find me on Instagram, uh, Facebook. My email address is S T O R. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. Oh, S-T-O-R-I-E-S-Z-Z-A at gmail.com. I took I, now, I, I, that's it. We got we got we got 10 seconds. We got to get out of here. Hey, Anthony, want to thank you for being our guest here on Spotlight thank TV. You. Fascinating, thank fascinating. You. Thank you for being with us today. Anytime you want me to come back, let me know. All right. Hey, thank Dr. Larry Carnes, thank you for joining us right here on Spotlight TV. And remember, always tune in to Spotlight TV. Amen. Thank you.